If you figure out who's going to make the money or who is making the money, you can pretty much figure out society, you can figure out a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of people, their hidden agenda or their agenda can be discerned and discovered if you really can figure out, okay, who's going to make the money, who is making the money, who's got the money, who wants the money. If you can follow the money, if you can figure out how the money is, what's happening, then you'll figure out a lot of the real stuff that's going on. Forget what the politicians say. That's garbage, as I hope most people know by now. There's a hidden agenda everywhere, and you've got to figure that out. When I started making money is when I stopped thinking about myself and I, st I started thinking, okay, how can I deliver value to this world? What can I do for other people? No one cares about you trying to make money. When you're thinking, okay, how do I make money? You're thinking of yourself. You're thinking, how do I make money? But that's not a really good question to ask. People will give you money if you give them some sort of value. And the way I see really money, like the currency, I see it as like the bill itself is like it's a transfer of value. So if I deliver value to other people in some way, I will make money. I love to study success, right? And if you look at anybody who's doing well, you will see them really trying to deliver value as much as possible to their customers. Starting out, I'm like, I, I want to make money. Like, you know, like uh, I need it. How do I get, get a hold of it? And it was very kind of money driven. Um, but then when you really, and it's a mindset thing, when you really change your mindset in terms of how can I deliver value to people? How can I help people? Switch your focus into that. The poor will always be amongst us because it starts up here. It's, it's in their words, you know, and the words become flesh. But when they say I can't afford it or I can't do that, they go down. They become what they say. And never say, I can't afford it. Ask yourself, how can I? The reason I have so much money is because I don't say I can't do it. I just go, how can I do it? And I just go and do it. Poor people say, I can't afford it. I can't do that. I don't have time. Because this is an escape. It's an escape. You know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when you could go to the gym. No, I can't. The truth is, I'm just too lazy to go to the gym. A question opens a mind, a statement closes the mind. See, when you say, I can't afford it, the mind shuts down. And you become what you say. This is who people should study. People that have gone out, started with a little bit or nothing, had an idea, accumulated something, and then lived it out for 35 years. You know, Warren Buffett. I admire Warren because of his longevity. I want to study everything Warren's done since he was a young man. You must spend some time out of your own country, no matter what it is. Uh, it's better to learn a language. I would certainly urge you to learn a, any language. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be Chinese. Uh, learn any language, and certainly to spend some time out of your own country, because you're gonna learn a whole lot more. You're gonna become much more self-reliant, that's for sure. And you're gonna understand that the world's very different from what you think it is. <laughs> and that's a very good start. Get committed to a plan. This has to be your top priority. Life is full of distractions. Successful people can cut through the noise and focus only on what matters most. If you don't think financial security matters, you're a crazy chicken. But there is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more. Money is useless until it is used. I did not know this. I thought money was valuable. I thought, I was taught that money was security. It's like this money just sits here. What is it? It's just pieces of paper. Somebody decided on the colors, the values. Somebody put a little stamp on it. A lot of work went into like make, making me believe this is somehow valuable. And, and today I just know that like, man, until this starts moving around, it, it's not valuable. People are way more valuable. You've got to know your numbers. Many people only start caring about money when it's too late. They look at their credit card statement at the end of the month and say, how did this happen? The average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe. They haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school. That means they don't learn anything. But the average guy is dead in there. Oh, I'm an A student. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do this all on myself. And a, and a bunch of rugby players run you over and you go, well, they're not playing fair. 
yeah, well, you're not, you're playing stupid. You should have a team. You should have accountants, attorneys, and bankers and all that stuff. But that's not the game I want to play. I said, then don't play the game. You know, the, the game of business is played with accountants, attorneys, bankers, I hate to say it, politicians. You know, you got to know the game. Your biggest enemy is you. People don't understand is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. If you don't think you're great, ask yourself why. Why don't you think the highest of yourself? Your life can change in the blink of an eye and you need to be ready.